Hello and welcome to episode 454 of Photo Kitchen. I'm your humble host, MD Welch. Today we're in the studio and we're talking about C-Stands. My two favorite C-Stands, Matthews versus Avenger. Who makes the better C-Stand? Now, there are a lot of C-Stand companies out there right now. If I did this video 15 years ago, I don't even know if YouTube was really popular 15 years ago, but if I did, if I had a channel, you would only see these two C-Stands really available out there. Now, for better or for worse, there are a lot of companies making C-Stands out there, and some of them are actually innovating C-Stands a lot. Avenger and uh, Matthews have stuck with the same system, but companies like Coupo and Savage have started to do some very interesting things, expanding on what a C-Stand can and can't be. So you definitely wanna take a look at those. I don't have the budget to have all of the C-Stands, so I'm just gonna review the two that I have available to me. They are the two more expensive. I think they're two of the more durable ones, especially working with other C-Stands out there, but do understand that there's a lot of stuff that these C-Stands have that have been co-opted, read into that of what you will, from other companies and you could actually use that to maybe help you influence your purchase there. Again, these are very expensive C-stands, but there is a saying that I have lived by that has done me well and I don't know who originally said it to me, but never put an expensive thing on an inexpensive thing. It's usually a guarantee for failure. Don't put that $5,000 uh, video or still camera on a $100 tripod. You're probably going to regret it. Don't put a really expensive light on an inexpensive stand. First of all, both C-stands here are essentially the same thing. This is a fixed base C-stand from Avenger, and then I have a sliding leg C-stand from Matthews. They're about the same weight. I'll put specs up on the screen. Um, when you hold on to them, they don't feel, one doesn't feel necessarily lighter than the other and one important thing to point out is that the C stands themselves do work together so you could shoulder them stack them together you can combine them together you could definitely take off the grip heads and the grip arms you have a lot of options there so you could interchange them I have far more Avengers than Matthews uh, but I can switch out the parts I could interchange them there's no problem there and that's also true amongst a lot of other C stands but the height here that's the biggest thing and they do work in tandem as far as the build quality goes they both feel really good the Avenger feels a little bit beefier. It has slightly thicker tubing. Uh, it just feels just a touch beefier, but the Matthews is kind of no frills. It's just straightforward. Uh, there's not a lot of mechanical in it. This is a spring-loaded stand, so it pops open. Uh, this is just a normal mechanical gravity stand, so you have to swing it out and twist it. In that regards, both of them are really well built. The stands feel good. Both knobs are really good. I do like the Matthews knobs a little bit more. They have this kind of nice rounded feature to it, where the Avengers, I weirdly, and I'll explain why I say weirdly in a second, they have these kind of harder knobs here. They're just, they're about the same. They might even be a little bit longer, but if it's cold, you've been doing this a lot, twisting into it, these ergonomically on the Matthews, they just feel better in the hand. You think you would have more torque here, and you even might, but that, was, that kind of bites into the hand. If, you're, if I'm nitpicking about something, there it is. For me, the stands themselves are pretty equal. I could find and love both of them and have no real major issue. Where the difference is, is in the grip heads and the grip arms. First of all, Matthews kind of has this grip arm configuration when mounting it to the C-stand that it only goes on a Matthews C-stand. So that screw is positioned right there and it can't change. Where the Avenger actually has two ports here. So if you were using somebody else's C-stand and that baby safety notch or whatever you were mounting it to was a little bit lower, a little bit higher, you could change the position of the screw for mounting. So in that regard, you got to give it to Avenger a little bit for versatility. By the way, Avenger is owned by Manfrotto, so you would expect that versatility from that large of a company. Maybe you're going from an Avenger to a Manfrotto stand or something like that, so they've offered that particular type of positioning to you. To the grip heads themselves, either on the arms or on the actual uh, ends of the rods. Matthews has a very simple system here, and I don't know how easy it is to see on camera, but you have essentially two ports, holes, receptacles, whatever you want to call them. One is for the smaller flag rods that you're going to use. I, I think it's a quarter inch stock. And then the other one is for a five eighths of an inch. So baby pins, uh, small panels, that kind of thing. You only have the two ports. There is a very, very tiny port that I know you cannot see on camera. Uh, that you could use for wires. I've never had to use a wire before. I don't even know where you would use that for, but they have that there. The actual clamping mechanism, there's this aluminum disc in the center that essentially, after years, just keeps getting crushed and crushed and really secures this C-stand. 
Uh, you can't really mount anything in between the disc and this uh, the actual inside of the stand without it getting shredded or destroyed. The two ports does make it a far easier because Avenger has decided to give you every port on the planet. So Avenger has several different size ports here. They have uh, they have the standard um, port here, but then they have a smaller one, which I always mix up and confuse. There's your quarter inch rod stock. And you could sit here and you could keep turning this thing for days uh, and uh, before you get it right. I have to give Matthews for ease of setup on the grip head because there's only two ports, two receptacles. They're easy to distinguish, makes it easy for mounting things. You have to hand it to Avenger though, because Avenger gives you some more options for doing that. I have a panel by Chimera or Shumera that has a little safety pin to keep it from twisting. And it actually notches in this configuration where it doesn't notch into the Matthews configuration. So that could make an impact for that particular panel. Um, it's not the end of the world, but the Avenger gets a little bit of a check mark nod for versatility, where the Matthews gets a check mark or a nod for simplicity. One other thing about the Matthews, instead of having that aluminum disc, which we'll see how important that is in a moment, they have almost kind of like a laminated cork or cardboard here. And I have seen many people, including myself, sandwich some foam core right into this. And it, it does a great job of either holding a large sheet of foam core, like if you just need it from tipping over, it also will hold smaller pieces of foam core. As long as it's not so heavy, it won't break. This does a good job. You put foam core in that aluminum disc here from Matthews, it's going to start to chew things up. Matthews would argue that that's where you would buy a clamp to specifically home fo hold foam core, but you have to give it to the Avenger that you could do that if you wanted to do it. So it kind of depends. Do you want simplicity or do you want versatility? You have, you have options here. And by the way, you have the same options on the grip heads on the stands as you do on the grip heads on the rods. So far, both stands are kind of in the exact same race here. They're, they're neck and neck. It's, it's almost preference. Do you like the simplicity of the heads of the Matthews? Do you like the, 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 the way that the stand looks, those kinds of things? Do you like the versatility of the Avenger grip head? They're pretty much neck and neck. But this particular test that I'm about to do is where I think the stands start to really separate themselves. Now, if you're just mounting flags, if you're just mounting panels, you're probably going to be okay. If you take a close look at the grip heads from both companies, you will see that they differ radically. Not only do you have less ports on the Matthews and more on the Avenger, but if you look at the Avenger, it's round. It's completely smooth on the inside, where the Matthews is kind of multi-sided with the serrated teeth in there. Those serrations, that multi-sided really bites into whatever it's grabbing onto. Put in that aluminum disc as an additional feature, and it really holds the item that you're trying to grip or boom or whatever you're trying to do stable. So I have a B1 pack here on, so battery, probably one of the heavier heads that you will mount on a stand. That's not like a heavy duty light stand. And I'm going to put a metal beauty dish on it. Now this might be kind of hard to see, but if I start to tilt this and I start to position this over, and I'm gonna wrench this down a, a pretty good. Notice how the Avenger just slips, it cams out. That's the technical term. When I have boomed with Avenger C-stands, it has been difficult, if not a nightmare, if not a stressful situation, because I'm worried about this beauty dish spinning and turning. I can get it to a point where if I really wrench down on it, and I'll get it out a little bit of the ways here, <clears throat> I could probably keep it from turning. But the minute I want to do like a 45 degree angle here, it, it slips. So now through the power of editing, I swapped out the Avenger. I have the Matthews here, grip head, grip arm, already have the beauty dish on. It has some serious weight. I, I need to hit the gym. But if I set this up and I tilt this down and I tighten this up and I let that rest, look at how it doesn't cam out at all. It doesn't twist. It doesn't move. It doesn't rotate in or out. It is very, very stable. And I have twisted this far less. I don't have a torque meter or a torque wrench or something to measure this, but I will say it's 50% less force. I have to really tighten that down to the point of almost having to get a wrench out to keep something like this from rotating. If you're going to boom a light, 
if you're going to be working in wind or anything like that, this is where the Matthews, or at least that style of grip head, is far better than the Avenger. And I love the Avenger C-Stance, I really do. I have more of them of the Matthews, but I have to say because of this, I'll probably be buying Matthews C-Stance from here on out, opposed to the Avengers, because this is just such an easier thing to do. Yes, the Avengers have rubber gaskets and handles on here. That's what I used to think was great about the Avengers, is because they, they weren't cold and the, the Matthews weren't ergonomic, but they are very ergonomic, they fit the hands well. But this stability, here. I don't have to worry about this. This I worry about all the time. That Avenger C-Stand is a concern when I'm doing any sort of booming. Now, I have put in the worst case scenario here, metal beauty dish with the grid on it, battery powered thing. If you had a smaller strobe and a little light softbox or an umbrella, the Avenger would be fine. But if you start to boom anything heavy duty, the Matthews is going to be better, or at least the stand. I know Coupo has that type of head as well, so there you go. So the last thing to talk about is price or cost. The Matthews is the most expensive. It's made in the USA, and if you don't live in the States, it's probably even more expensive because of shipping, tariffs, and all that other kind of stuff. Avenger is a little bit less. It's made in Italy, might be cheaper in Europe because of tariffs and all that other kind of stuff. Also, Manfrotto has an EDU program that applies to Avenger products. So if you're a student, a teacher, or a school, you could see a significant discount. You might see a 25% discount on the Avenger compared to the Matthews. But I'm here to tell you, I just now, now using the Matthews, I feel so much better about it. Yes, there are stands that do something similar. Coupo has a similar type of head feature. It might do this as well. I have not had that, my hands on a Coupo and done this test, so I can't say yay or nay. But this does still work into that theory that I've been taught. The expensive thing on an expensive thing is a really good solution. Yes, the Matthews are far more expensive, but in the long run, I don't honestly worry about it. I worry about this falling on somebody. Safety on a set. If you have somebody underneath this, the 50 bucks that you save between these two stands, that's nothing compared to a lawyer's retainer and a lawsuit. So for me, even though that I have several Avenger stands, it's probably Matthews here on out, especially for this type of configuration. It's not that the Avenger is bad by any means. It's just that Matthews is so much better. I hope you liked this video. If so, please hit that like button. Leave a comment down in the field below. Let me know what you're using. Are you thinking about buying something? Are you using Coupo? Have you done this test? I would like to see how this works, especially on a Coupo. Those are getting really good reviews. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Share this with your fellow friends of the photography trade. And until next time, I'm MD Welch wishing you all the best from really a photo studio, but that name sounds terrible. So we'll still say Photo Kitchen. See you next time.